Hello everyone, in this video I will introduce 6C Modbus TCP communication. Here is the hardware wiring. 6C IP, 5V IP and uh, PC IP. Here I created two sockets to, to test. First one, 6C as client and 5V as server. Second, 6C as server and 5V as client. Now open our Codacy software. And this is the 5V program. First, we need to set our PLC IP here. In PLC parameter, it's a net settings. And next, we need to create it to socket. In Ethernet, Ethernet, sorry. For first socket, our PLC 5V is TCP server. And for second socket, PLC is client and the target target ID is this 6C IP. Here created a new project. Select device and uh, programming language. Okay. Here created a created a project. Set AS board and BCDS word. A B. Okay, so uh, later I will uh, use 6C as client and uh, 5V as server to, to read D0 and M0 to A and B. And, uh, uh, and uh, second, I will use 5V as client and 6C as server and uh, write value write value from D2 to C and the read value from D to D4. Now here, right click device to add to add a Ethernet. Okay, and the below Ethernet we need to add device Modbus TCP master and also add a Modbus TCP select device in Ethernet here we configure our 6C IP this one we use default IP and for others, keep default. 
And uh, here, below the master device, we need to add our uh, modbus TCP slave. So, uh, in this, in this two means 6C as a uh, client, and then for this one means 6C as server. Okay, so now we need to uh, configure the modbus TCP slave, our 5V. Here, enter the 5 IP. This one. And add the motor bus left channel. For M0. For M0, motor bus address is 1000. M0 and D0. D0, we need to use a uh, rate holding register. And the 4D0 motor bus address is also 1000. Okay, and the next, we need to uh, map these two motor bus address to our, to our variable. First, map M0 to A, and then map map uh, this d0 to variable b okay so for first uh, first configuration is finished now let's uh, configure at least in this communication our 6c is motor bus server so here we can see uh, here we can see the holding register length input register length and also the start address of this uh, register. Here we, we can change it to 100. Yeah, you can see it have 100. Which, uh, here we use default value. Okay. So now we need to map C and D. To, to here. For example, here we map D to input register zero, and map map C to holding register zero. Combined. Okay, now lock in our 6C. And run the program. Now back to uh, 5V. Internal monitor remote. Here we can see M0 is mapped to map to A and also D0 is mapped to B. And uh, now uh, connect second socket. Now okay now we can see uh, we can write write D2 to our C with this function code 6 6 means uh, right holding register and the K0 means uh, holding register 0 and the K1 means the length, uh, writing length is 1 and also this uh, model bus code 4 means read input register and this is register register ID and uh, register length, reading length.
Okay. The, the motor bus, motor bus code we use is depend on, sorry, on this here. It's depend on the register, register uh, type and the register ID we use. Okay. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching.